Welcome. In this lesson, we will be covering how can we export one character made in Maya into 3D Exchange and make all the proper settings to convert it into an icon character. First of all, we're going to open our Maya model. This is Warp. This guy were modeled in Maya by the Polygon Technique and Texture in ZBrush. One of the things that you need to know is that every character that we are going to export into iClone needs to have been set with the proper Human IK feature in Maya. The Human IK in Maya is a really powerful tool that allows you to set all the bones, the setup for the legs, arms and spine in a very fast way. You can find a lot of great tutorials in YouTube where the Human IK technique is properly explained. But here, I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up the Human IK in Maya and I'm going to continue. The next thing to do is export our model as an FBX file. To do this, we're going to File, Export All, and in the dialog box, we need to choose from Files of Type, the FBX Export option. Then, we need to expand the Include option, and then Embedded Media option, activate the option Embedded Media. Then, we give the name, in this case I'm going to call it Warp to Export. and then click on Export All. Once we're done with the exporting stage, we are going to 3D Exchange. OK, now let's click on File, Open, and then we search for the place where the FBX files was imported, and then click. There's a dialog box. We're going to deselect the option Import Animation, and then click in OK. Here's our character, and we can see all the human IK in the scene tree. Now, we need to convert this character into a non-standard character. So, we're going to go to the Modify bar and locate the Character Options, and click on the button Convert to Non-Standard. There's a dialog box right here, so we just accept, and here we can see the Convert Joints. The next thing to do is that we need to set the proper preset from where the file has been exported. In this case, we're going to use the Maya Human IK because as we've seen it before, we set our character with the rig Maya Human IK. Also, we have another preset in case you were working with another software like 3D Studio Max. We have the proper setting for the biped rig. Now, we're going to proceed to see the calibration on the model so we can be sure it will be working just fine in iClone. We need to activate the active option. Then we can preview different kind of movements to check the animation in our character. Like head calibration. Click the preview button to see the animation working, as well as the other presets. You can see movements where the fingers of our characters collide the geometry. This is easily to correct. First, you need to deselect the active option. Double click on one of the arm joints, then select the rotation tool and rotate the joint like this. Then you repeat the procedure for the other arm. Then click on the Convert button, so we can set our character. Now, we just click in Apply to iClone, and you will be sent to iClone with our character ready to set our animations. Then, you can see the maps are kind of lighted, so we can go to the Actor Skin tab, locate the section where the maps are loaded, and then we can select the Diffuse map. Go to the Material setting and adjust the Specular map.
So there you go, you have converted one character from Maya to iClone. And here you can work with accessories, animation and all the powerful tools that iClone provides. That's it for today and enjoy it. See you another time.